Hello and welcome. Today I show you the content of my refrigerator here in Japan. And before I start, don't forget if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button to get notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, give me the thumbs up until it turns blue so YouTube knows that they can suggest more videos like this. So let's start. This is my refrigerator. Ta da! What do I have here? Let's start from the top to the bottom. It's a lot. We just went shopping yesterday and we always buy for one week, so therefore it's stocked. My name is Martina. I'm living in Japan. Japan is my home because my husband is Japanese. Top right. I have almond milk here. So you have with tea, almond milk, almond milk. I use this for my smoothies in the morning. This is my breakfast. So here in front I have Sakura mochi. Sakura mochi is filled with red beans and I drink it with coffee. <laughs> then we have here, this is this is some kind of vegetable juice. It tells you exactly what kind of vegetables they are inside. This is a favorite of my husband. And he will have every morning, as you can see here in this picture, vegetable juice. Fruit juice is this one and this is grapefruit. I like this, I drink that. Here on this side I have ham for breakfast, yeah. Wait a minute, my refrigerator wants me to close it. So. It is like smoked ham, it's quite really nice and uh, this is in the package to dry it. They have it here in Japan all the time. This is raw ham, this is also ham. So this is for my husband for breakfast. I do not eat sausage or ham. So this is natto. My husband likes to eat this sometimes, especially when he tried to lose weight. When I say he tried to lose weight, his whole life, his weight is around 70 kilo. He only goes maybe two kilos down or two kilos up. That's all, four kilos since he's 18. Unbelievable. And if he thinks he's too fat, like, 72 kilogram <laughs> then he eats this we bought this yesterday this is oden it's very healthy usually there is seafood inside and i cannot eat it but in this case there seems to be no seafood inside so we bought it yesterday what i love is how they present it this pink the white the green and this looks looks like a little sack it's very cute kimchi we like to eat kimchi I place it on the tray where the tsukimono is. Bread, I have to say, all the years I use this one. Uh, it's white bread, but last week I decided to have brown bread again. However, it's you don't have the variety what we have in Germany and that's not so great in Japan. I love German bread and I sometimes even bake German bread. So here we have misu. This is Embun Mikai Misu and Shiro Misu. Embun Mikai Misu is not so salty. We have yogurt. My husband loves to eat yogurt in the morning. So next one is... <laughs> so this is for the little stoves on the table. They are very cute, but this has to be kept cooled. Otherwise it evaporates and then they are gone. So these are the little stoves. You can make mini nabe or whatsoever. And take this one and place it here. Ah, looks lovely in the evening. Fish eggs. I have strawberries for my smoothie. Fish eggs topico. I will make I will make ochazuke today. With, with topical. They're very tiny little eggs, not the big salmon eggs. They're lovely. This is our Shizono. This is also for Ochazuka. I show you how they look. So these are these leaves. No? 
This is tofu, aburake, kimbira. We really love this. My mother-in-law has this. And we, every time when we go to them, we will eat this. And we really love to eat this. This, this is basically, ah yeah, I show you. Carrots and this long root. Gobo. Garlic, ginger, sprouts. I will use also for ochazuke today. And from top to bottom, I have here sake. This is for cooking. Soya sauce, you just pour it or you can spray it here. So you spray it over it. Butter, so I have olives here. Then I have kochijan, I think it calls. This a Korean seasoning and we use it for bimbimbap. I create my own. <laughs> Japanese mayonnaise is really delicious and this is with mustard. Lai, this is basically, I would say, I describe it like chili oil. This is tenmenjan. I use it also for Chinese cooking. This is shizen toban, a Chinese seasoning. I use also for um, arrabbiata, for example, in Italian kitchen. And whenever I need a little kick for any dish, I use this. Okay, my husband, when he travels, he brings me some weird stuff. So let me see what it is. It says limone. Ah, limone oil. Okay, it's good for salad. I haven't used it yet. I have Kirschwasser, German baking. This is mustard, Japanese mustard. Karashi, this is wasabi, Japanese wasabi. And this is sugar. Here I have mirin, soya sauce with less salt. I'm getting old. We getting old. This is sesame oil. Lovely. Again, this is it came here in a set. So I haven't tried it yet. What is this? Ah, vinegar. Oh, this tastes really good. Chili sauce. I like to do spring rolls sometimes. This is oyster sauce. When I lived in Singapore, we used to eat green leaves with oyster sauce. Perfect. And garlic. Ah, oh, I love it. This is red wine. Vinegar. Organic. We have organic store. Not only in Tokyo, also you find it now here at Miura Peninsula. Actually, I think I got this in sushi, if I'm right. This is red wine vinegar and this also. Maybe, I don't know why we have now two. Apple vinegar. This is grapefruit. Okay, let's start from the top. This is jam. This jam is plum jam. You can't get this in Japan. My brother sent this to me and I love to eat it. I have already, it's almost finished. Almost finished. I got this for Christmas. Okay, this is from Japan. This is strawberry jam, but usually they are too sweet. I do not like the jam in Japan. This is sauce for meat. This is, is this, ah yeah, okonomiyaki sauce. Tomato. This is a salad sauce, or I would say we use it only for cabbage. So you cut the cabbage small and put the sauce over it. It's very salty, very tasty. I love this. Maple syrup, very old already. Is it valid still? Yeah. Okonomiyaki sauce. I have two of this. And this is sesame salad dressing. Love it. You can say cabbage dressing. Salad dressing, I would say we use it only for cabbage. Ah yeah, we have two more. Ponzu, this is actually you use for when you make shabu shabu or nabe or something like this, you can use this. And this is yakiniku sauce, also meat sauce or I would say especially for beef. So this, okay, this is when you have fever. This is very old, but I didn't want to throw it away. It says 30 July 2020. This is basically uh, marzipan, raw masse. No? Marzipan, raw masse. You can get everything at Tomitz. So this is blueberries for my smoothie and I have edamame and I love butter because uh, oh, this is margarine. We couldn't get 
for Christmas uh, butter, so we bought one margarine. I usually don't have margarine butter without salt. Oh, this is duck fat. <laughs> yeah, uh, from our duck Christmas. And this is one big ice cube for a whiskey glass. I move the camera a little bit. Okay, frozen food. This is Wagyu beef. This is for sukiyaki. This is chicken and this is salmon. So here we have um, um, Nikoman fried rice, gyoza. And this is Shoronbo. Here is minced meat. And I think this, ah yeah, this is Savara. Very good fish. Oh, my husband loved to eat this. This is Negi or Leek. This is Bamboo. Then we have Maitake mushrooms. This is Enokitake. And this is shiitake mushroom. Okay, here we have spinach and mizuno and uh, apples. We have usually I have water here inside, but this one broke and is leaking now. So we have onions, we have beetroot here, potatoes and sweet potato. Nagaimo. This is we use for okonomiyaki spring onion and I cut them small and store them here. Gobo and salad. Yeah, and that's about it. That's it for today. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I have to remind you more and more because 95% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So please subscribe. Anyhow, I will see you in my next video. See you then. Bye or tschüss.